jury found Elijah Toure guilty on 13 counts, including first-degree murder in the death of Karina Meal. The prosecutor said Torre broke into Meal's apartment, bound her, and sexually assaulted her. He then stabbed her and took her car and debit card and used it around the city. Meal was working on an art exhibit at George Washington University. She spent three years as an art instructor at the Cincinnati Art Academy, and she graduated from UC's DAP program. Elizabeth was always an artist apart. I don't know anyone who's more almost obsessive about detail. You can see it in her work, but it never loses its charm. It never looks overworked. She's a wonder, and she's brilliant. Uh, there are very few artists of her intellectual caliber. Some art is like a chicken bone stuck in your throat. It just doesn't go down easy. And in that, you have to kind of, <laughs> you know, you have to kind of be with it to kind of get it. She's like secretly famous, you know? Everyone who sees her work does not forget it. Fourteen-year-old Luciano Lewis was led into court in the murder of 18-year-old Tessa Majors and the teen who allegedly used the knife, Rayshawn Weaver. Last words she was known to have said was, help me, I'm being robbed. That's when the prosecution says she was stabbed four times by Weaver as Lewis held her in a, quote, headlock or a bear hug. But she fought back, and police sources say she bit Weaver. Paula Cooper was convicted of the murder of the 1985 death of 78-year-old Bible school teacher Ruth Pelkey inside her Gary home. 